Yep. Okay, looking at Burrito Galaxy 65. Hi. And you are? My name is Julian. Julio. You can't see Julio, but Julio is a very tall guy. He's going to tell us all about the game. Please tell us about Burrito Galaxy 65. Okay, so this is a game that my friends and I made for the computer. And you can play it with a keyboard and mouse or with maybe a controller. And you play as Guac, who is a fat blue bean girl, and you slap things and jump on them and slide around. That's quite the description. Yeah. Is Guac short for guacamole? No. What's it short for? It's, it's not short for anything. That's just, just that's just their name. Squawk. Yeah. Okay. I can see how you would think that, though. Well, in the level I saw earlier, there were uh, floating avocado halves yeah. <laughs> in the sky. I think if, if we can see one now, that would be, yeah, we'll probably see one of this, this new here. Yeah. So, what was the actual story? How did she get to where, did she, get to where well, she is you, now? You're a burrito delivery person. And you crash your, your uh, spaceship into a hotel. And in the future, uh, glass is very expensive because uh, of saying. some reason, I guess. And you, the window you break is about billions of dollars that you have to pay back in debt. Billions? Yeah. There's, no, there's just no sand on this, this, this I guess not. I guess in the future, everybody would use a screen and a camera instead of a window. That seemed like a lot of for, work, but okay. For science reasons. For science, yes. Al although, uh, even though it's so much money, you're poor, and you have to repay by doing chores. And uh, some of the chores, like each hotel room in this hotel is its own universe. So like this frog area is part of the frog universe. And these frogs have to pay rent, but frogs don't know how to make money. So you'd have to teach them ways to make money so they can, they can pay rent. Really? Yeah. Like legal ways of making money or like? Yeah shady back alley ways that they <laughs> uh no they're pretty legal you, you teach them that all the diamonds they've been throwing out while mining for mushrooms could be worth money diamonds well, yeah just a little yeah. bit yeah. it's funny how interesting value is place value you throw away diamonds looking for mushrooms that seems... well frogs can't eat diamonds that's true yeah that's i like the art style I like how it, it is a first person adventure game but yeah uh, all the characters seem flat yeah, they're just cool. 2D drawings in black and white, and then I color them on the computer. Was, was uh, Parappa of any kind of influence to this at all? Yeah, I really like Parappa, but I think it was more because we're lazy and we didn't want to 3D model like hundreds of NPCs. I'm not judging you. No, it's okay. It, it looks good. We tried to make them move like in Parappa a little bit, but it looked kind of creepy. So. Oh, like, was it like a beat? They all moved to constantly, or they vibrated well, or something? Well, in the game, when you talk. Uh, we have markers uh, following the music, so they actually talk to the rhythm of the music. Okay. There's one character whose voice is beatboxing, so it'll like overlay on the track and it'll make sense with the music. Nice. So music is definitely going to play a big part. If you slap somebody to the rhythm, you do more damage and stuff like that. There is combat in the game. Uh, yeah, not in this build because it's not 100% perfect yet, but uh, soon we'll be showing that off more. But the focus is not combat, it's about the interactions with the other people and yeah, it's like creatures. Ex it's like exploring a big playground full of different people that meet and talk to and play with. And the sky full of avocado halves. Yeah, different different places will have different food. Uh, like I, I've been making a lot of food recently because you can make really low quality looking food in 3D, and there's like no uncanny valley for food. That's true. So it always looks kind of cool. It always looks like avocado. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like avocado? Of course. You like guacamole. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you said this is pretty early on, so what are you all looking to um, have this available for folks to, to pick up? Well, our, it's already been greenlit. We've been working on uh, Burrito Galaxy 64, which is the older version, oh. and this is where we've gone with it. Uh, the old version is done, although it's only about three hours, and we'd feel weird about selling that. So what we're doing is we're going to put that version inside of this version and sell this one. So when did 64 go up? Uh, 64 isn't out, so this is like a sequel to an unreleased game. Say that again? <laughs> <laughs> well, we finished 64, we've shown it at places, but we haven't sold it yet. Okay. Because we don't think it's up to what should be on Steam right now. Understood. But as a mini game, or like a separate game inside of a bigger game, I think it would work better. Would you all be averse to giving the consoles any love as well? Uh, we've been uh, looking at PS4 and Wii U are definite possibilities and probably going to happen sometime after the PC release later this year, most likely. 
Unless we die somehow. Well, uh, let's hope not. Yeah, let's, hopefully. Let's be optimistic here. Yeah. Said it's a long one. The game looks like a lot of fun. It's very colorful. Um, Thank you. I'm assuming the 64, 65, and the Galaxy were certainly a reference to other po another popular series of games. Well, we named it Burrito Galaxy because we just thought of the name, and then we made the game based off the name because oh. we thought that that was a cool word I was combo. Like Mario Galaxy. Oh, Mario the 60, 64. The 65 is because it's like better than 64. Wow. I, I, I like exactly. that. I like that confidence. Thank you. The game was like fun. I look forward to playing it. Thanks. Thank you for your time. Thanks for your time.